rely on how you look to sustain you. What actually sustains us, what is fundamentally beautiful, is compassion for yourself and for those around you. Is that you have to avail yourself to circumstances and experiences that you yourself don't know anything about. Mm -hmm. But we as human beings, we're not as individual as we think we are. Right. And that's what allows for us to experience empathy when we watch things. So recognize and articulate your fears to yourself. Then look for what you love and articulate that to yourself and to others. With success comes an added expectation. And with that comes lofty responsibility. Ask questions of yourself, for yourself, and listen out everywhere for the answers. And we achieve the most when we are awakened and responsive to the desires of our individual hearts. It is then that we can really be a part of a whole and share our tools to fulfill the bigger picture of a better tomorrow. Breathe, meditate, pray, be still with your soul. There is a force within us that surrounds us, penetrates us, and binds us together. Perfect. And no matter who we are or what stage of achievement we are at, I think that it is healthy to always have some perfection to work towards. It gives us perspective and, always, and also gives us something worth living another day for. With each step you take, with each new challenge you face, Expect yourself to learn these lessons again and again. Do not be disappointed in yourself when it feels like this time it is harder or different. It will always be harder or different if you are growing. When you feel overwhelmed by this, remind yourself that you feel despair because you still care. Step and repeat. Step and repeat. It doesn't ever get comfortable but it does get familiar. Get to the deeper business of being beautiful inside. That, there is no shade in that beauty. When I look down at this golden statue, may it remind me and every little child that no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid. Thank you. <laughs>